with a two-legged friend of the show, Dr. Katrina Warren, who's trained this astounding team of talented hounds. Dr. Katrina, welcome back to Totally Wild. Thank you, it's been a while. <laughs> now tell us about this big dog show. It is a massive celebration of everything that we love about dogs. So a huge combination of entertainment and also education. Uh, we have everything here from tips to how to raise a puppy, we've got puppy school, uh, we've got fantastic um, entertainment on the main arena. Rescue groups are here, you can learn all about rescuing a dog, breed showcases. Actually, I think they've pretty much covered everything. <laughs> it sounds like it, it sounds like we're gonna have a busy day. But first up, let's see some more of those clever dogs who can do, well, just about anything, including counting. Hmm, what's seven minus five, Jinxie? <laughs> Playing points. <laughs> and even driving the car. <laughs> Katrina, how do you teach the dogs all of those amazing tricks? Oh, uh, it's a, obviously training and the key is to start when they're a puppy if you can. So Ripple's 12 weeks of age and she's already learning the basics. This is her very <laughs> first um, wonder dog show though, so it'll be interesting to see how well she goes with a crowd and an audience. But it's about using, doing lots of basic training, using lots of food rewards as treats. So we call that positive training. Yep. So the dog does something that you like, you give it a treat. And the higher value treats are the things that smell really good like chicken or cabanossi you tend to find it's easier to train your dog with those. OK, now Border Collies, like Ripple here, they're, they're known for being pretty smart. They? They, they are super smart and they're very trainable. So they're dogs that need a lot of mental stimulation and a great thing to do, and it's really good to enhance the bond that you share with them, is to do some training every day. OK, now Ripple, block your ears for this one. I did notice in the show, lots of the Border Collies, are, uh, or lots of the dogs are actually brown. Are brown dogs smarter than black <laughs> ones? The chocolate Border Collies, we quite to think so, because my Toby was a chocolate Border Collie, but no, they're all pretty smart. OK. You can unblock those ears, can't you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> this group of furry friends aren't the only ones who are putting on some pretty impressive performances here today. I should introduce all to our ducks. We've got Tony, we've got Kevin, and we've got Julia! Tell us! Back on there! So, Farmer Dave, I've seen dogs rounding up sheep before, but I've never seen them round up a flock of ducks. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. It's one of those things that you can do in a small show like this so you can get the idea of what a dog does, but you don't have the complications of cattle jumping on top of your hands. So, did it take them to train them to do that? It's about a six week process. So, the puppy, of course, um, it's only been doing it for a few days, uh, which, which of course adds to the whole idea of the show. But yeah, no, it's not that long of a process because really the working dogs, they come with it all in their DNA. It's just we're crafting it, we're harnessing their skills. It makes life so much easier. I mean, look, I come from 100,000 acres, we've got 6,000 cattle, and sometimes we've, we've had, you know, many, many thousands of sheep. And there's a few of us that run the farm and we can do it just because of the dogs, just because of that ability for the dogs to go out there and bring it back. And really, it's just a spectator sport being a modern farmer. How cool was that? Well, stick around, guys, because there's still so much more to do and see at this doggy lover's haven. 